Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Well, last episode, after checking out our first fabricator, our group was surprised by the arrival of an Opon trader, Shil Shil, who gave us the opportunity to make money along with other services and asked us to complete a Nopon caravan register. After viewing events taking place elsewhere with Commander Ethel's colony having been demoted to the lowest rank as she was given an opportunity by a console, we returned to our resting party who discovered that select classes of the others had become unlocked for them, switching the squad's roles up as we headed out to explore once more, defeating migratory sirs along the way as we continue on. Interesting. Also, all the enemies up this way have now hit level 20, so we're being very much ferried around a certain path, aren't we? Twenty-four. Yeah. Specifically, supposedly, where that frog was. Here we go, guys. Well, I take it I just gained some class levels. He turned around. I don't think this is the norm. How am I supposed to get to the KOs? I think it's gold I'm getting is the extra bit, isn't it? You can't even change their arts to uh, collect what you want. And I guess they've got the same equipment you had on them. All right, I feel that indiscreet Gombaba here... We have to keep track of our progress. ...might possibly be more dangerous. Let's find out. This could be it's dicey. time to make a stand. Up to you. Friends, we fight. I'm supposed to fusion that art. I've got to remember the top art I have to fusion. Oh, he's resisted the break. In fact, I'm missing most of our attacks and my squad got poisoned. So let's hope my healers are up for this. Because this looks like Tanks need to face things away. So I fuse to do evade as well, do I? Topple someone? Yeah, this, this could be a dangerous fight. It's just the tank with the aggro. <laughs> he says not switching. Actually, the healers are managing this. I just can't follow up with things. Group heal is healing loads. Ah, uh, regenerates up. We lasted long enough. The real issue is just not getting these breaks. I evaded that one. Who's this break? I guess he's just a slippery guy. I'd love to send him through the topple chain, but it's like Tyon and Uni actually fully have this. I'm actually surprised by how well they're just managing this. <laughs> hey, look at that with the evade timing. Missed the break again, though. That was very low. Oh, the regenerates that. That was in it. Come on, Noah, you can make it. I'm trying to hit the break. Topple miss. I 
believe that missed again. Not one driver combo was available. And meanwhile, in the back here, we're staying quite flawless. And there's an ether thing. So that's what that marker is. Let's harvest some ether. Ah, so we can get only small segments of it too. Don't know if I should go this way to finish mapping this out or what. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. But I guess it's all class bills. Here we go. Is the combo. That not hitting time. I wouldn't even bother trying to evade. Fusion arts are interesting though. We get both effects. Yeah, I should have saved that. Being able to actually get an evade on a chosen attack because we've chosen to use the fusion version of the art. It's pretty cool. I don't know if there's another downside though. Like extra cooldown time. what I was hoping for. The blue monsters are going to be my best way to raise class points as fast as possible. I think. <laughs> to then get more master skills to then map, you know, like get more skills. <laughs> so like what class have we got them up to? So they're only rank two actually. Oh, except for Mio who's rank three. The more powerful I get, the better. Such a weird gameplay life now. Come on, who else? Guys, get ready to fight. You're dealing with me. Thanks for the support. Eva defense down. Okay, so it's the evasion up that's the buff for you. Heals too. She's just a bit of a battle freak, isn't she? She doesn't stop no matter what. You can really take control if you want to super min-max stuff, can't you? I can combine days with my Aoife defense down. Let's try it out on these critters. Pretty cool. Hey, this is still new to us. Don't rush in. I mean, we actually took down two big beasties with this, uh, this mess of good. skills. Not going terribly. Fusion arts let you use a class art fuse with its paired master arts effect. Oh, whoops, did I figure that myself? When both of them should be charged, hold ZR and press a class art button to use the fusion arts. They all, oh, by the look of it, they probably have different recharge times then. Using fusion arts allows you to chain, cancel multiple art attacks together. Arts into fusion arts, fusion arts into arts, and fusion arts into other fusion arts. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Fortunately, I didn't have all the skills there to use it. Oops. Get 
Both hearts fully recharged, you're saying? You just said I'm done now. I better just use it. There we go. In fact, you can't kill this guy before you've done it. He stays alive to force you to do it. I felt a lot more nimble there, like the way you usually fight. It looked like second nature to you. It was crazy. You should have seen yourself. <laughs> I think I could have thrashed you with a little more practice. You know, it's totally bananas. Ouroboros is bonkers powerful. Right? Ah! Oh, the gauge for the locked icon has filled right up. Same here. So logically, if we gain enough experience by fighting together, we will become able to use each other's classes. That seems to be it. As much as I'd like to experiment. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Right. Well, better get ourselves down south. Interestingly though, it doesn't really seem any downside to us going back to our main class. In, in, in the sense that, why would we go back? We only have a few levels to get on it. We'll just continue on with our new classes and therefore get the skills so we have more options is the obvious thing to do at this point. So what is a main class? Earn enough class points CP through battle and the class's rank will increase. You can also obtain class ranks by spending up on coins. What? Each class comes with one art mastered from the start. To master the other arts, skills, talent arts, etc, you'll need to raise the class rank sufficiently. Up on coins are very good then, aren't they? Class ranks are normally capped at rank 10, but by completing certain quests, you can unlock the ability to increase the rank beyond that limit. Oh, well there you go then. There's literally no reason for me to continue in their normal classes. If you go to Characters Class and press that I, you can see detailed info on the selected class, including the arts and skills you can master by increasing its rank. Classes are graded on a scale of S, A, B, C, D in these areas. Sword, Offense, Shield, Defense, Heart, Healing. Chess piece equals difficulty of player control. Keep it in mind. Character's compatibility of a class is also graded. Using a compatible character increases the CP gain, making it grow faster, so keep this in mind as well. Stance type arts grant a special effect that will last for a while. You can tell the effect's duration by the ribbons of light around the character. It will continue until the light fades. However, characters can only have one stance active at a time, so be mindful. If you enter a stance while the last one is active, its effects will be overridden by the new one. You can now change classes and edit master arts again. But why would you want to? It's literally just told you that you can't level up your cast. It's like, if I were to change to here, I can't level this up anymore. <laughs> so why would I change back? Absolutely no point in me doing that. I guess the one thing I could change is gear, which also automatically got changed. Interesting. Full on got changed when I joined that. I don't know. Guess it switched it over automatically. Just healing by 20%. Damage dealt when attacking high level enemies. Maximum HP. Yeah, it seems to have had a, a base set of stuff. That said, though, if changing any art is a thing... Slash! She says it better. Did I just change my break? No, I did change the right one. I can also choose the different options here. Evade or... Buff debuff target lock. Not sure I want to do that. <laughs> But having two dazes? Pretty tasty. Cannot dislike that. Yeah, this is work out. This Ouroboros power 
We need to learn how to use it most effectively. So much to see, huh? Good interruption there. We do need to learn how to use it most effectively indeed. Ordell Ravine Way. <laughs> look at all the drills that are coming up. I don't like the look at that cactusy thing. Meanwhile, in quests on the board, is there new ones of these? I finally have the stuff to do you, do I? Feels nice filling all that in. He's not talking to me at the moment though, because he I'm the enemy. Okay, that's not everything. Uh, our knob on here, Shil Shil, has 200 affinity for getting this. <laughs> However, I'm missing one item, a firefighting hydro jet. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. Hold it a moment. I have a proposal as to our next route. Okay, shoot. I'll send you the map data. Broadly speaking, it's either east or west. I would suggest we go west. Why is that? The area to the west is under Agnes's control. There is a certain degree of risk, as they'll have deployed a number of units, but it's the quickest way to get south. What about the east route? No man's land. None of the colonies have laid claim to it as of yet. However, we'd suffer a significant time loss. Time versus risk. Wait a sec. We're going to stir up the Skeeter Nest. I only said there was a degree of risk. Really, it's not so bad. But Agnian troops are deployed there, yeah? Yes. And we're still going to go? All I said is that it would be more efficient. Efficient? Well, maybe we do need to be more efficient. Faster is better. We don't want to be dragging our heels forever, right? Hey, I just have to ask. Are you trying to push some agenda? What? No, certainly not. But you admit the East Route is the safer option. That's just strange. Why wouldn't you pick the safe way? Because time is of the... Look, there you go again. <sighs> That's not all, though. It's all wasteland to the east. The... the heat. It'll be unbearable. Uh, yeah, you're gonna melt in the sun. I'm fine with your choice, but we need to think about everyone's safety. Noah, what's your take? Me? Um... I think I'd rather take the safe route. As for the heat, we can probably figure something out. There, four against two. <sighs> Tyon, Senna. Please. <sighs> Fine then, if you absolutely insist. Then it's settled. Come on, cheer up, guys. We're out of here. Time is going to be an issue, isn't it? The fauna here. I don't know if those trees are alive or not. That's the mystery of Xenoblade, right? Aegis Wilderness. Well, they're about our level. Just to check some more oh, stuff out, eh? So we want to go... What oh, he says that way. <laughs> that way. 
But there's also a quest that way. Well, let's just face it. We're pretty much going all the ways, right? What kind of place is this? Hello, cactus thing? Okay, not an enemy. Yet. Knuckle hoxes. Guys, get ready to fight. Oh, they saw me. You look great. Always, always searching for that love or affection. Yeah, going all the ways that don't have high level enemies is generally the right direction to go, isn't it? Right, do we join the Hoxes? Or the Antelopul? Well, the Hoxes give me a nop on coin. Okay, that was dangerous. They just AoE'd me. I'm stuck in a box arena as well. Big healings. Seems I can't double days. So that's a thing. Not on coins can get me class levels. I'll take that. This poor little guy is just wondering what the hell's just gone on. Well, that's a big boy. Question is, how much do I want to keep testing it with these named creatures? Leo, would you do the honors? From a long way away, that was. Right. Might as well, yeah. Old you know, shot with a Tracy here. Maybe I should take out Calm Camille first. I'm right here. I feel like these guys have a bit more HP than I'd expect. Will I keep the enemies on me? I don't really have another attack coming in. And I straight up missed. I'll take point. Well. It's good to keep a record. Let's die horribly. There's tough. Keep your heads on loose. Leave it to me. You're a fire lad. I want you to look this way. We're having an interesting amount of tank switches at the moment. Great defense down, so it's probably actually a better option to switch at the moment. Hey guys. I feel like I need to heal. <laughs> Someone? I'm going down. 
I guess was like too far away to heal up. Both the healers have just come over me. Now Senna's taking some big damage. I'm definitely doing this wrong with the tanking because everyone's having issues healing. This isn't working. I've dodged a lot in a row, which is amazing. Looks like we can just keep going with reses until the healers go down too. No need healers res? Well, that's handy. Everyone's low and it doesn't feel like there's any healing going out anywhere. Can't beat me if I run away. But you can be actually incredibly scary. I'll come back for you because it looked like no one was healing or doing anything. Probably because of spaced out position. Tanking it away didn't really work out. That was interesting. I guess I learned a bit there from trying that challenge. Tanking in this game may be different than others, after all. Seems like everyone being on top of each other is just the best option. Here we go, guys. Also, everyone's dodging, so that's weird. The enemies we're fighting are dodging a lot of attacks now. Maybe I need to be using accuracy buffs. Probably should have fusion mailed that one. Only there. In another way, maybe I'm just better off leaving the AI to tank because the AI knows what it's doing versus trying to butt in and do my own thing. Alright, eight ether capsules. There's more over here. This is something decent, right? So the quest is further down that way. And I don't know if I can even make it up to that ether capsule. I think I super can't. Yeah. Well, that looks like a place we have to come from the, t the top down. I'll leave this big boy wondering. I'm assuming in here are eye level ish enemies. <laughs> I 
actually makes sense that the enemies would suddenly get a lot more hardy. <laughs> Leaving the tutorial zone with six people. We end up in the area where... Oh, God. Guys, this is not a good idea. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's not a good idea. Run! We started fighting that enemy all the way over there. And in the meantime, for some reason, the party decided to not be able to come up the platform and pull the mob over to there. Which did not work in my favour at all. It's interesting, because actually at this point, the enemies themselves are getting to such a level. <laughs> They're out-leveling me. It's kind of crazy to me. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more damage on a high level class. Uh, do I get the experience for that? He came back. <laughs> We only saw him fly off the edge of the whole place two seconds ago. At least he stayed on this time. Scary bit is he could probably blow our enemies away like that, couldn't he? Stop all. Stop No clue. When you topple, I don't know. I think I need to get fighting again, really, which is weird. Let's not proceed down here. Okay. I thought that was east. Target master is east because, of this course, is the it's the faster route. You wanted us to take, right, Talion? Indeed, but we already agreed with Mio. Let's go back to the east route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just exploring the area, mapping it out, trying to bite off more than I can chew. I see the road I'm actually supposed to be taking has enemies around the region of like level 12 and 13. <laughs> Could be a subtle hint. Instead, I push straight over for the level 16 monsters and go, it's getting harder. Weird that. 